My name is Lisa, and I am a stay-at-home mom. I live happily with my husband, Noah, and my daughter Madison. On this day. Mommy, I can't sleep. Oh my god, this is so unusual. What is wrong with her? Maybe mommy and daddy were too loud. No. I just can't sleep with my eyes closed. Don't look so worried, it happens sometimes. Oh, I could sing you a lullaby. Dad has a funny way of singing, so no problem. Oh, he really has a unique way of singing. So the three of us lived peacefully as a family. Then one day. You too, I have good news today. Juice? Yay! What kind of juice? It's not juice, it's news, it's an announcement. Well, what about Madison's juice? No, I didn't get any juice. Well, that's bad news. I'll get you your favorite juice next time. Ick. Oh, actually, I got a call from Fred today. Oh my god, they're finally getting married. Oh, Uncle Fred, he's finally getting married. Wow, congratulations. I see, Fred is finally getting married. Fred was a classmate of Noah's, and the whole family was very close to him. I was so happy to hear that Fred was getting married as if it were my own. A few days later, Fred came to our house. Welcome, Fred, congratulations on your marriage. Congratulations on your happy marriage. Ha ha, thank you both. I told you, you didn't have to come in person, you could just mail it to me. No, I just wanted you to get it in person. Here's the invitation. Thanks. So what's the name of the person? It's a colleague from work. She's a nice and thoughtful girl. Oh my goodness, thank you for dinner. Hey Lisa, don't make fun of me. Fred is a so-called elite who works for a big bank. He brought the invitation directly to me and asked the three of us to attend the wedding. On the day of the wedding, when the three of us went to the wedding hall. Oh wow, that's amazing, it's so beautiful. You're right, it's a beautiful place. It's so beautiful. Uh, it's really amazing, you must have spent a lot of money on it. I can't wait to see the ceremony. Oh, is that Noah who is friends with Fred? Uh, yes I am, but... What, seriously? What are you doing here? Suddenly, I turned around and saw a woman standing there in a wedding dress. Then the woman continued. I can't believe it. Why is this uneducated person at our wedding? Yeah, what's going on? Calm down. Are you the bride, Wilma? Yes, I am. Fred has told me all about you. I have a good friend who started working instead of going to school. You don't belong here. You uneducated person, so get out of here. No, you can't tell me to go home. We have an invitation from Fred. We've been looking forward to this day with all three of our families. It's my best friend's wedding, so don't say that. You know, unlike you, Fred graduated from a very prestigious university. It's bad luck and a sign of degradation to have someone like you around. Oh no, that's not a good omen. His wife and kids are the same. They shouldn't be there. So you have to get rid of Fred for good. Wilma, Fred's wife, yelled at me in public. When I felt embarrassed and ashamed. Okay, in that case, let's go. I'm going to take this opportunity to get rid of Fred as well. Yay, by all means, why don't you do that? I don't know why I didn't realize before that it's not worth it. Dad, are you sure you want to do this? Noah, Fred is a good friend. It's okay. I can't get involved anymore after you told me so much. If I don't stay away, Fred might get into trouble. Haka, that's a beautiful friendship. It's so sweet it makes me cry. Well, I want to thank you for cutting me out of your life so quickly. I'm going to make a special effort to forgive you for hanging out with Fred. From now on, you should be friends with friends your own size. You. You should have shut up and listened to me before. Lisa, it's okay. It's his big day. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Well, since we're here, let's go get something good to eat and then go home. Noah. Okay, okay. Enough with the friendship moves. I'm full. I've had enough. Come on, let's get out of here. I don't want you to stay any longer or something bad will come over you. So Noah voluntarily declined to participate and we left the ceremony. When we returned home, Noah told us about a plan, and we decided to carry it out. The next day, 
after I dropped Madison off at daycare. Noah and I went to Sir SU Fighting Bank, where Fred worked. Wow, look who's here yesterday. So what brings you two to the bank on a weekday? Well, I wanted to ask you to withdraw the full amount of the 5 billion yen you deposited with us. Wait a minute, what did you just say? Did you say 5 billion yen? Yay, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for two people to get together. Ha ha ha. Hey, don't laugh out loud in front of the guests. I've decided to deposit the 5 billion yen in another bank, so I'm going to close this account. Um, you still want to continue? How is that possible? 5 billion yen? I'm sure you're just here to spite me for yesterday. But the only thing that's true is that you're closing the account anyway, right? You don't have 5 billion yen. You just don't seem to believe me. Look at this ledger. Now you know we're telling the truth, right? What? If I show you the bank book, you'll know I'm lying. What's wrong with the bank book? No, what do you mean, the bank book is wrong? What? What do you mean? Do you mean this is real? One, ten, a hundred, a thousand, a million. Oh my god, it's really five billion. That's what I've been saying all along. Just get ready to take the money out. Wilma, what are you making a fuss about? No, and Lisa. Oh, Fred, I'm sorry I missed your wedding yesterday. Wilma said she was amazed that we really had five billion yen in our account. Then Fred came over. Noah greeted him normally, but Fred. Hey, what are you trying to do? You didn't come to our wedding. Did I do something to offend you? You can tell me in person. We're on the same side. I didn't miss the wedding because something was wrong with Fred. Then why didn't you come yesterday? I was really looking forward to Noah. Why are you acting so casual? Well, Fred, I'm sorry, but we decided to transfer the 5 billion yen to another bank. What? Oh, no way. Do you want to withdraw the whole amount? And to another bank? I was at the ceremony yesterday, and Wilma told me. She told me that if I didn't go to high school, my family and I would have to cut all ties with Fred. I tried to convince her, but she just wouldn't let me in. So I did what she told me to do and cut ties with the bank. What the hell? Hey Wilma, is it true what you just said? Yes, it's true. We are the elite of the banking world. But these guys are a couple of middle school graduates from the bottom of the barrel. You should break up with these people. Don't be silly. I've told you many times that Noel and Lisa are my best friends. Don't tell me what to do with my friendships just because we're a couple. If Lisa's account is closed, it will be a disaster. Oh, hey, by the way, why do those guys have 5 billion yen? Are they really safe to keep that money in our house? Don't be ridiculous. This is Lisa's father's inheritance. It's a ridiculous amount of money, and he doesn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. He trusted me with it, because I work for him. When Wilma hears Fred's story, she turns blue at the realization. Shit, I didn't know. It's a joke. You know, there's something, like a surprise for the newlyweds. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. Are you kidding me? Five billion yen. How could you not know? I'm going to report this and the ceremony to the branch manager. Oh, you were good friends with the manager too. I'm so sorry to have to break up with you after you've been so good to me in so many ways. Wait, why are you so friendly with the manager? I'll get fired if I don't do something about it. That's just outrageous. I don't even have any proof. Well, do you want to see it? I have a video. This video is amazing. It's a magical video that makes me feel uncomfortable every time I watch it. What is that? How did this happen? On the day of the wedding, Madison spent the entire morning filming the video, including your words and actions. Wait, let me see it. I swear. You told me the three of us went to an amusement park together. See, you said we were going to have some good food. Well, I thought we were going to an amusement park or something. Noah and his friends would never do or say anything to hurt anyone. I didn't doubt you in the first place, but this video is conclusive. I don't trust your words anymore. I'm divorcing you. We're going to file for alimony with this evidence. Divorce? We're going to charge you alimony. I think it's better to wait until you've calmed down before you decide on something like that. 
Wilma is in a dilemma, with a divorce from Fred and alimony from Noah. She tries to convince them in a panic. I tried not to let that happen. Hey, I was wondering if the cancellation process for this place has been completed yet. I'm sure the five billion people have a lot of work to do to get ready, can you hurry up? Don't be ridiculous. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have time for this right now. I'm about to get divorced and fired because of you. You can't take responsibility. Are you kidding me? Are you the one who can take responsibility? How many times have Noah and Madison been hurt by your heartless words? And Fred too. He is about to lose his best friend because of you. What kind of responsibility can you take? You know how many people have been hurt by your self-righteous values? You told us we were unwanted that day, didn't you? What about you? Who needs you now? You should take better care of yourself before you talk about others. Noah, Lisa, I'm so sorry, Wilma, even though I didn't know. Oh no. Fred, don't apologize. Stop it. I know it's not your fault. Besides, we're on the same side. You know I don't need this. Lisa, Noah, thank you. Thank you very much. But Wilma, not you. You hurt my three most precious things. I will never forgive you. I know. I'll divorce Wilma. I can't be with someone who says such horrible things about my best friend. And I'm going to ask for alimony. I'm going to make you pay for it. You better be ready. Oh no. I thought Fred's money would allow me to live extravagantly, so I spent a lot of it. I can't pay alimony? What's that? Are you really a banker? If you have that much money, you should have saved it for the future. Hey, you got five billion in your inheritance, right? Then why don't you give me some of it? Don't be silly. You can give it to me, but you will never give it to me. Oh no. What are you going to do about it? Divorced, no savings, fired from my job, and now I have to pay alimony to both of you. Please, I don't care who you are. Please reconsider. I'll be screwed if I don't reconsider. It doesn't feel good to see someone's life ruined because of you. So come on, do yourself a favor and help me. I'll divorce you for me and get alimony. I won't back down. Fred will stick to his guns. Your biggest mistake was trying to break into a male friendship. You will regret it for the rest of your life. Oh no. Wait, don't go. I'm not saved yet. So Noah and I left the bank, ignoring the sobbing Wilma. Fred and Wilma soon divorced, and Fred sought alimony from Wilma. Noah also claimed alimony from Wilma for this incident. She had to go into debt to pay them. Wilma was fired from her job at the bank, and her savings and income were reduced to zero. As a result, Wilma had to work part-time as a stopgap measure to pay off a large amount of debt. But because of her part-time job, she was unable to find a job and had to live in poverty for a long time. And as for us... By the way, thank you for opening another account with us. No problem. We agreed that Fred's was the most trustworthy. But I have to admit that I didn't feel like living while I had so much money in my house. Well, you're right. Five billion yen. Mom and Dad always pushed me to be afraid, right? Ah, uh, sorry, Madison. I didn't mean to scare you. But you know what? It was fun blowing kisses in the air. Oh, that made me laugh so naturally. How enviable. It's not that bad. We made a mess, and it was hard to clean it up. I counted everything to make sure nothing was missing. I probably won't do it again. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Hotter, next time, I'll buy you a bunch of bills from the children's bank. Oh, that's it. That's how you did it. I realized about halfway through that. Well, I thought it was a one-time thing. So we decided to put another 5 billion yen in Fred's bank. We were worried about whether it would be safe since we had just cancelled it. But thanks to the circumstances and Fred's cooperation, we were able to deposit the money safely. I was really scared to leave a large sum of money at home, but it was good that nothing happened, and I felt a bit like an adult. Next time Madison really wants to do it, I will honestly ask the children's bank for help. And so our family continues to live happily together and enjoy our silly games.